Hello, beautiful internet family, Danny from dancetube.tv, and today we're checking out the Active Track mode from the DJI Air 2S. Now, I've been impressed with Active Track in the past, and it's done a really good job, but I wanted to really push the limits of the Air 2S. I put on the bypass mode, so it actually figures out that there are certain things in the way, and it tries to avoid, you know, either trees or people or, you know, whatever's in the way. And I thought, yeah, let's see how this goes. You know, it's using software here, so it's actually, you know, you're scanning onto a person or a, you know, a car, for example, and then it's actually just using software to track that person or vehicle or whatever it may be. Um, so I thought, you know, this is gonna be good, but it's gonna be interesting to see how it actually does it. And I was, again, really impressed. It's almost like they've put everything you want into the Air 2S. It's such an amazing drone. I will have my full review out very soon, but this active track mode really blew me away. If you are interested in the Air 2S, then I will have some links in the description below to check it out on both Amazon and the DJI website. This is through the affiliate program, so I do get a tiny amount of commission for for this, but there's no additional value, no nothing added for you. It's the same price that it would be just normally going through Amazon or DJI. But if you wanna support the channel, then that really does help out. Before I jump into this video, guys, I do wanna give a massive shout out to the DJI store or the D1 store. You can check them out, djistore.com.au. They were the guys that actually handed over the Air 2S for me to check out. Go and check them out. They've got some really awesome deals over there on their website. And if you use my coupon code MMAFB, then you can save 10% on almost all of your purchases besides the newer products. That will take a little while to go into that uh, coupon offering, but it literally is 10% off most items on their store. Phenomenal stuff and MM. AFB stands for Mavic Mini Australia Facebook. That's the Facebook group that I run. I'll also have a link in the description below to check that out as well. I think the footage that impressed me the most was when I was tracking Gia as she was walking through this tight little pathway. There were lots of hanging branches and leaves and trees and there was so much going on and I just had it in the bypass mode on active track. I was running behind her and making sure that I had my finger over the stop button just in case the drone started drifting into a tree and it did such an amazing job. It literally dynamically kind of panned and tilted up around a tree to continue to keep Gia in the middle of the frame. And then it went back the other side and then it came back again, even though there was a little, you know, bit of plant shrubbery going on there and it just kept going. Phenomenal, like I was blown away. Some awesome footage as well, like it looked really dynamic and I was again, very impressed with what it was capable of doing. There were a few moments where it lost me altogether. It tried to place that pin, but because it lost vision of me and it didn't look like I was moving because it kind of pinned onto the ground and not onto me, it didn't move anymore. So it just kind of stopped there and didn't do anything. So I had to reset the drone and then it did fine from there. There are a few moments like that. I think I had three moments where it just completely lost me altogether and it just stopped moving. But I'd prefer it to stop moving than continue to try and have no idea what it's doing. So I do appreciate the fact that it's smart enough to go, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I can't figure this out. I'm just gonna stop here. You know, it's like being vulnerable, basically. <laughs> this drone is accepting like, hey, hey guys, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening and I'm not gonna try. I've tried and I'm gonna have to stop here, you know? I've, I've given in to my limitations. And that was great. I would prefer that over it smashing headfirst into a tree. But then when it did start tracking me and when it figured out, okay, that's Dan or that's Gia or whatever I was kind of searching for, it did phenomenally. I was again, very, very impressed. They have put some amazing software, some amazing coding into all of the drones recently, but especially with the Air 2S, like it would even kind of lower itself to go underneath a tree or try to go around it, you know, and it's so impressive that it can figure all of this out. And I think, you know, that little shot there where it kind of gets lost for a bit and then it kind of angles down fast and looks up at me. I think that's a really dynamic shot that's actually usable, something that you would want to use in your shoot. And I think ActiveTrack is 
getting taken to the next level by DJI. Super reliable and something that is actually usable. You know, it's not just a gimmick. It's something that if someone's on a bike and they're trying to ride through terrain, I think this would do a really good job in most circumstances. As long as there's not crazy amounts of hanging branches and trees and leaves, I think it could actually handle some fast moving action through dense like shrubbery or forest or wherever it is where there's lots of stuff going on. Really impressive stuff here, DJI. As I'm reviewing this footage right now, I actually can't wait to go out and test this out some more. I wasn't expecting it to handle so well in the tight spots that I put it through. It was actually more impressive than I thought it would be. I thought it would stop a lot more. I thought it would give up. It's clearly a lot more advanced than when I previously used Active Track, and I've been using it with all of the drones I've been getting, but I think they've just taken it to the next level here. And using that bypass mode where it actually figures out that there's something in the way and continues shooting and moving forward is phenomenal and is something that's really usable again, because if it's gonna stop, it completely loses the essence of the shot and then you have to reshoot the whole thing and it's not going to be usable if it's an awkward jarring stop and then you have to reset it and then you have to go again. So the fact that it can bypass and continue is phenomenal guys. So anyway, I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. What other content would you like to see from the Air 2S on the channel? I've got so much coming, so I really do appreciate your support. If you're new, make sure to subscribe as we've got some giveaways coming up and some really cool videos. But that's it guys, make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out. Thank you.